hey hello and welcome back so as promised i'll be teaching you how to manipulate picture easily so this you don't need any experience for it so i'll be doing this using a photo ai and also i'll be doing the more difficult process using photoshop so i'll let you guys decide so you better decide first because a is actually giving up to 35 percent discount starting from november 24 straight to december 1 so you can get up to that five percent discount and this is the final promo of the year so make sure you do what you do so and get today so this is one of the best software i've used so far so i told you guys i'll be making photoshop i will be making photo editing easier for you unlike in the past and it's best for you to actually adapt now so that you can get used to it till rather than waiting and get left behind so with no further ado, let's jump into action. So this picture was actually retouched here. I've retouched this picture here, and that's where I actually did the background cleanup. But that's not what we are doing today. We are jumping straight towards to our background changing. So once I click on the background changing panel over here, if you want to know how I do all this photo editing using Ableto AI from A to Z, there are tons of video on my channel that will help you do that. I have a dedicated I have a dedicated playlist on my channel that is going to help you achieve what you want to achieve. So now here we're in the background panel over here, as you can see over here. All I just need to do is to click open this background changer. I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to do what? Go to my backdrops. So I have so many backdrops here. I can click on this, but I'm not using any of this background, as you can see. It's actually very, very nice. Just as if I did it in Photoshop. But this is not what I want. I have another one here also. I don't want all this. So I'll just go to my file manager. I'll click on add. Go to my file manager. Then I'll go to where my background is located. And I'm going to pick it up and bring it straight into Photoshop. How good news, guys! Emoto is running their Black Friday deal starting from November 24th to December 1st. So, with this deal right now, you should be able to get whatever package you want from them with 35% discounts. I said 35% discounts. So, whatever package you get from them, from the list package to the highest package, you will get that off. 35%, just as if you are paying 65% for what you're about to pay 100% for. And I think that's the best deal of the year. So the promo runs from November 24th to December 1st. And that's not just all. They will be giving you free package, free preset to actually do what? To be able to use inside a photo. So it's going to make your workflow very, very easy and straightforward. All you just need to do right now is to click the link down in the video description and it's going to take you straight to their website. With this link, you'll be able to get access to the file in less than the amount you're supposed to pay for it. This is the best deal of the year and it's time limited. So it only runs for just a week. So don't miss out, guys. So here's the background I'll be using over here. I'll just click on open. Then I'll wait for it to load up. So once it did, I'll just do it. I'll click on the background and it's going to apply for me. So what I just need to do right now is to do it. I can just adjust it a little bit. So to adjust background inside of a photo, you just have to scroll down. Scroll down until you see what? You see the vertical and horizontal icon over here. So for the vertical, you can turn it up or down, as you can see. The horizontal also left and right. Can you see? So that's what the vertical and horizontal for, just for you to place the object. So, but I'm not working with the vertical and horizontal right now. I will turn it back to zero. What I just need to do is to increase the size. So that it's going to zoom in a little bit and feel where i want it to be that means it right now you might be thinking how are we going to get a footer shadow back because without a footer shadow our manipulation is not going to look very very nice and that's very, very simple all you just need to do is to scroll down to the original shadow and come to the ai shadow retainer ai retain shadow once you click on it and sit back wait for it to load up as you can see it's going to bring the shadow back the initial as you can see did the initial shadow and it did what it brought the initial shadow back for us this is very very simple and straightforward so if I'm not talking, I should be able to manipulate this picture in less than one minute. So just imagine that and you going to Photoshop and doing it in a manual process. Though I'll be dropping a video on how to do it in Photoshop using the manual process though. So I hope this video helped. So make sure you do it. You get your own today while the offer still lasts. Up to a 5% discount using my promo code. So see you guys in my next video tutorial. Reflex out.